Hello everyone, Josh here with NBA Impact, bringing you guys some more Yu-Gi-Oh! And today we're going to be talking about the new Zane event. It is back again with some new rewards and a new skill. Um, I hope you guys also like the new layout. The new layout is set up more now for not only just my live streams, but my normal uploaded videos. So I hope you guys do love the new look. Changed it up a little bit. It looks really, really good. We've got a new uh, reward membership program going on here. You can see the list of rewards, stuff like that. But I'll go more into that when I do my next live stream. But anyways, so Zane is back. Let's jump right into the uh, review of the event and kind of what to expect and all that good stuff and what is new. Let's go into it. So we're not going to go into any of this. This is all the same as the last Zane event. And like, oh, this is exactly the carbon copy of the last time he was here. So I'm not going to go into all that jargon, but recommend rewards. So at 400,000 points, you can unlock Zane Truesdale. So if you are a newer player, or you missed him the last time he was here. You can go ahead and unlock him now by getting 400,000 points. So make sure you go ahead and do that because Zane, I mean, it's free gems, you know, leveling him up and stuff like that. So you're going to want to unlock him anyway. Now, his cyber style skill, which is definitely by far one of the best skills in the game right now, is unfortunately going to be getting hit very, very soon. So that skill will not be as good, especially if you're not a cyber dark player or a, or a cyber dragon player for that matter. So we'll see. But, um,. Other than that, definitely go ahead and pick him up. Now, you also get a, his a, one of his ace cards, Cyber and Dragon. You get a free copy of that, I think, at level 30 as well when you level him up. 4.2 million points. Yes, Konami wants you to try to get this skill because this skill was so busted. As in, it's so busted because it's broken. As in, broken because it's just bad. <laughs> Not broken in a good way. Um... Cyber Dark Style. A lot of us thought that we were going to be getting this alongside the Cyber Dragon skill, where he adds up to two, where he adds two Cyber Dragons to your deck. But unfortunately, that skill is nowhere to be found. So the meme continues. Where is Cyber Dragon? <laughs> no skill of it. No card of it. Whatever. Anyways, can be used each time your life points decrease by 1,800 in the draw phase. Instead of doing a normal draw, draw a random Cyber Dark monster. Cyber Dark Style will be made available through other methods in the future. So, that's interesting. But, uh, yeah, guys. These draw sense type skills, they never work. They're always bad. They're just garbage. I don't know why Konami keeps pushing them out. Nobody ever uses them. The only time you use a draw sense skill is if it's a draw sense attribute skill and you're using it for a farm deck. That's literally about it. And that's literally it. All right, so we got obtainable dual rewards. Uh, Cyber Dark Dragon is also available. Now, some of the new additions are Cyber Dark Cannon and Cyber Dark Claw. Those help make the Cyber Dark archetype a lot more consistent than it was before because last time we didn't get those two cards. Zane does use it, but we didn't get those because, as you know, sometimes the NPCs use cards that we don't get our hands on. Um, so you can use that with Cyber Dark Impact, of course. So we get Claw. Claw is a dragon effect, 3-star dark attribute, 1,600 attack, 800 defense. If this card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster, you can target one Cyber Dark monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. You can only use each of the following effects of Cyber Dark Claw once per turn. You can discard this card, add one Cyber Dark spell or trap card from your deck to your hand, which allows you, of course, to pick up the Cyber Dark Impact uh, spell card here. Uh, during damage calculation, if a monster equipped with this card battles, you can send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. So, Cyber Dark Claw and Ken were definitely needed uh, to make this deck a little bit better. It's not still not great at all. Cyber Darks were never saying it's better archetype. Cyber Dragon's by far superior, but it is what it is. And Cyber Dark Cannon, it's a 1600 attack, 800 defense, dragon effect as well, 3 star and dark attribute, of course. If this card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster, you can draw one card. You can only use each effect of the, um, you can only use e use each of the following effects of Cyber Dark Cannon once per turn. You can discard this card, add one machine type Cyber Dark monster from your deck to your hand. During damage calculation, if a monster equipped with this card battles, you can send one monster from your deck to your graveyard. And then the new UR that we can get here is Cyber Darkness Dragon. It is a level 10 dark machine fusion effect, 2,000 attack and defense. Five Cyber Dark effect monsters must be fusion summoned. If this card is special summoned, you can equip one dragon type or machine type monster from your graveyard to this card. Gains attack equal to the original attack of the monster equipped to it by its effect. When your opponent activates a card or effect, this is a quick effect. You can send one equipped card you control to the graveyard, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. So, 
there you go that is the new rewards for zane let's go ahead and take a look at his um other rewards that we get from doing the points all right so at 1.4 million you can get a copy of cyber dark cannon as you guys can see here so at 4,000 points you get 10 gems we're only going to talk about the gems the only thing that matter uh we get 20 at 30,000. we get 20 again at 90,000. we get a uh you get a free copy of cyber dark impact at 20k uh, 20 more gems at 300,000, 30 at 420,000, uh, at 50,000, or sorry, 500,000, you get a free copy of Cyber Dark Horn, uh, 30 gems at 540k, uh, 30 gems at 820k, at 900,000, you get a free copy of Cyber Dark Edge, 30 gems at 1 million, you get 1.15 million, you go ahead and get a free copy of Keel. 30 gems again at 1.25 million. Uh, again, we already talked about at 1.4 million, you get a free copy of Cannon. Uh, 30 gems at 1.55 million. Uh, 30 gems again at 2.1 million. At uh, 2.2 million, you get a free copy of Cyber Dark Claw. Uh, another 30 gems at 2.4 mil. You get your free copy of Cyber Dark Dragon at 2.6 mil. Uh, 30 more gems at 2.8 mil. Uh, 3.2 million you get cyber darkness dragon and you get 30 gems again at 3.6 mil you get the new skill at 4.2 mil and 30 gems lastly for 4.6 million so not very many gems in this event as to be expected um, lots and lots of gold because we just need more freaking gold <laughs> says my 19 million sitting up there staring at me with nothing to do with it but that's above the point so we're going to go ahead and just quickly fight this level 10 Zane with our uh, <laughs> our U Bell Mill deck that we showcased earlier today. I'm just going to let this auto duel and we're pretty much going to wrap this video up. There's really nothing else to talk about with the Zane event. Everything else is the same as it was last time. So again, guys, if you have not received your Zane Truesdale yet last time, definitely make sure you unlock him this time around because it's still worth grabbing these characters. At the very least, just to get their on to get their uh, level up rewards, you know the gems. So you can go into you know older boxes or new boxes in the future or whatever. Even the new box that just dropped. I feel like the Morphotronics are going to be a very good free to play deck. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But I hope you guys all enjoyed uh, this review. If you did, definitely leave me a like in the script in the description. Leave a like on the video below. Let's try and hit 50 likes in today's video because this is just a rehash event for the most part. So I don't expect too much uh, attention on this video. But yeah, so go ahead and do that. Comment below what you guys think. Are you guys excited to be able to get uh, Cannon and Claw? Do you feel like if you're a big Cyber Dark player, because there are people out there who love to play that deck perhaps, does this make you happy? Otherwise, let me know what your thoughts are on the event in the comment section below. Are you disappointed there's still no Cyber Dragon? Um, either as a skill or as a uh, as a card, even though the skill has been leaked before, but we still haven't got it. Um, so does that concern you guys? Are you guys expecting it in the in the near future, or do you think maybe Konami will surprise us and give it to us in this event? But they haven't told us. But I highly doubt that. But hey, you never know. It's Konami. So, anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. Hope you guys all enjoyed as always. Until next time, make sure you subscribe if you're new to become Impact Player today and join us in our Discord in the description below. Until next time, peace.